Welcome back to the course. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Fibonacci. We're going to be going over what Fibonacci is, why it is used, how to measure Fibonacci, the types of retraces you can see with Fibonacci, where to use Fibonacci, historical context of it, and we're going to be also providing two examples of Fibonacci. Now, to get started, what is Fibonacci? Fibonacci is basically percentage retraces that allow you to find areas of value for both selling and buying. It can be used in day trading and long-term investing, but mainly it's going to be used in swing trading, which is the focus of this course. It is founded off of the mathematical Fibonacci sequence, which is seen not only in studies and prices, but also all throughout the universe. Fibonacci retracements are basically finding good areas with high probability to make some sort of trade off of, whether that be buying or selling. Fibonacci is separated into different zones, but the best zone to kind of take note of is known as the golden zone, which is pretty much a golden ratio converted into a 61.8% retrace, which is something analysts in all commodities recognize as a major area of value. Now, why is Fibonacci used in trading? Not only does Fibonacci have mathematical support, but it also relates to the psychology of buyers and sellers. For example, if a buyer sees an asset that has gone back down significantly, they would most likely be interested as their goal is to buy low and sell high. On the flip side, if one was already in trade and they see that the price is high enough for them to sell, they would close their position and take profit. Basically, when you're using Fibonacci, you can see common retrace areas where you know other people might be thinking, hey, it's gone up quite a bit, so maybe I should sell, or it's gone down far enough to a point where maybe I should buy. Fibonacci allows us to predict and visualize these areas of value and recognize them as areas of support and resistance, which we also previously talked about. Now, what are the types of retraces you can get with Fibonacci? You have your 23.6% retrace, which is basically the first area where you can start using Fibonacci. So whenever you have a higher low point, whenever you reverse 23.6% from that higher low point in the other direction, you can start charting that Fibonacci. You have a 38.2% retrace a 61.8% retrace, which is the golden retrace, a 78.6% retrace, which is pretty deep, and then a retrace that exceeds where you even started noting that Fibonacci is your 161.8% retrace. Also notable is a 50% retrace, which is not technically under Fibonacci, but it's a common reversal area as you either can be you know, noting where half off of a buy would be or selling halfway up to you know, a full retrace. Now, how do you measure FIBs? When looking for buy targets, you go from the bottom to the top or what's known as the swing low to the swing high of a trade. When looking for sell targets, you go from the top to the bottom or swing high to swing low. Always measure from left to right. Now, you can only use bodies or wicks when charting your Fibonacci. You have to choose one for both ends of it. You can only confirm that a reversal of the trend is occurring after that 23.6% retrace has occurred. Now, let's you know, help you visualize how to use it on the charts. So let's say you're looking for buy targets. As you could see, you had a pretty you know, good run up in price on this asset, which is Bitcoin. Then you reach this top area and you can't really use Fibonacci until you, from your low to high, retraced 23.6%. As you can see right over here, you retraced 23.6%. And then when you start charting that Fibonacci, your goal is to let it retrace as much as possible so you can buy low. Now, if you see here, this wick actually perfectly touched the 61.8% retrace, which is the golden retrace and the most common retrace for most swing trades that you want to be entering in. Let's say you were to buy it right here at the 61.8% retrace and you were to hold it for some time. You'd be buying at about 8,500. And then over the course of some time, you'd be able to sell that asset or which is now, you know, on your screen, Bitcoin for 10K. And Fibonacci helped you realize that. Moving on, let's talk about selling targets. As you can see, we're starting from this top point and we're moving all the way down to this bottom point. We're pretty much using Fibonacci for the structure of this massive pump and dump from about a $600 area. So basically, you can only start using Fibonacci when your swing low towards your swing high has reached 23.6% of a retrace. After you see that, you can pretty much chart your Fibonacci and then if you see, a good place to sell could have been that 0.5, which means from your high point to low point, right over here, you literally went halfway back up. 
Now, let's say you sold right there and took profit, you would prevent yourself from having to sell lower and pretty much break even. So Fibonacci allowed you to see where other people might be saying, hey, after that dump, we've already went halfway back up to, you know, to where we once were. This is where a lot of people might be taking profit and Fibonacci helps you realize that. Now, basically, you know, you can use it for these candles that are, you know, pretty significant, but most of the time you're going to be use, using Fibonacci for massive runs up. Like, let's say you could have used Fibonacci from here to here, and then you would probably, you know, exceed or get around a 23.6% retrace around here. That's just off the top of my head. I might be wrong. There's all these structures in play as well, but just to help you visualize it. And mainly you're just going to be using, you know, patterns. Like, let's say you have a falling wedge. From that top of your falling wedge to the bottom point, you can Fibonacci it. And once you, once, once you reach that 23.6% retrace, sorry, a lot of numbers, you can pretty much aim for that, you know, 50% retrace to sell. Now, where to use it? You want to use it for finding buying and selling areas after big markups or downtrends of price on structures such as falling wedges, which, which your first target would be the 50% retrace. When you want to buy a bullish asset, but don't want to buy the top when you want to find good sell targets to maximize your profit and to go alongside other variables such as patterns or oscillators, which we will talk about later. Also, when there is no other horizontal resistance or support, such as an all-time low or all-time high, Fibonacci can help you find these targets that wouldn't be on your chart otherwise. Now for some historical context. Fibonacci is used by traders all over the world and has worked time and time again. It pretty much just gives you probability. You know, other people are looking at these Fibonacci levels and let's say they see a, you know, 50% or a 61.8% retrace about, you know, in the golden zone. They're also going to be thinking, hey, I should sell here, which pretty much, you know, with market psychology, gives other people a reason to sell there, which means you could have a good chance of reversing there. Also, it means you have 61% of a sale, let's say if you're using Fibonacci to buy, which means you're getting, you know, that purchase at more than half off of what it previously was. Fibonacci was developed in the 13th century by Italian mathematician Leonardo Bonacci. Bonacci, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. And uh, the Fibonacci sequence is sometimes referred to as a universal code. It is found in reproduction, bee colonies, the human body parts, and even DNA molecules. So Fibonacci is really just a really cool concept that can also be used in trading and is shown to work quite often. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. Move on to the next video and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.